It's a tough job being a private eye. Sometimes the job doesn't come in when you need it. Sometimes the pay isn't what you ask. And sometimes the water cooler breaks. The water cooler is broken? Yeah, this morning. That's the third one this year. Are you sure you're using it right? Fiona, it's a water cooler. It's not exactly a mind-blowing concept. You fill up your cup, you drink it. Case closed. But three in one year. It's not like we can afford the nicest ones on the market. Save a buck isn't known for their quality office supplies. Well, at this rate, we may not be able to afford the cheapest option. Still no work? Nothing. It's almost as if nobody has anything wrong in their lives. Except us. Yeah, the case of the missing business. Well, there's not much we can really do about it until someone... Come in. Are you two Bailey and Fiona, the private detectives? That's us. How can we help you? I'm looking for something, and I need help. Naturally. Can I get you something to drink, Mr... Oh, Everett. Yes, that would be great. Except the water cooler is broken. Oh, right. So what exactly are you missing, Mr. Everett? It's an action figure. Go on. He's got a green uniform, fully articulated. How big are we talking? Small, like as tall as a cell phone. All right, and all plastic, you say? That's right. Hmm, when was the last time you saw him? And where was that? Well, last I remember seeing him was three days ago. Here, actually. You mean this office? Well, let's start looking. Hold on. What about pay? How much are you asking? Ten bucks. Hmm. Throw in an episode of Pulls and Tails and you have a deal. Done. I'll start it up. Time for another Scripture Snapshot, where we tell Bible stories in a flash. Okay, Elijah, you dragged me and my prophets up here in the middle of a drought. What's up? You worship Baal, I worship God. Let's see whose God is real. Challenge accepted. Whoever answers with fire is the real God. Baal, answer us! Send fire to prove this Elijah wrong! Maybe he's sleeping. Shout longer, louder. (laughs) Baal, why don't you answer us? Boring. Okay, Lord, please answer with fire. Elijah's God is the true God! Uh Uh-oh! To find out more, go to 1 Kings 18 in your Bible. Thanks for joining us for another Scripture Snapshot. Hi, kids. Is there something I can help you with? Hi, Mr. Jacobs. You haven't seen my military man figure, have you? Mil... Oh, you mean the action figures you and Kyle were playing with earlier this week? Sorry, Everett. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Nothing under here. Are you sure you lost it here, Everett? You didn't drop him on the way home or something? I'm sure, Bailey. He's got to be here. Well, it's hard to argue with that logic. I'll keep looking. Hello, everyone. Uh, Are you looking for something? Good morning, Fiona. We're looking for a toy soldier that Everett lost. Please, Mr. Jacobs, it's a fully articulated action figure, not a toy. Oh, yes, my apologies. Did you get all that, Fiona? I think I've got the picture. What does this action figure look like? Well, he's got a green uniform with dark camo blotches on it and a gray backpack and black helmet. You know, like most military men figures. Ah, well, I'll help where I can. Where have you looked already? I don't think we've checked the basement yet. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense. Why would he be down there? It was a big battle. Kyle and I were playing pretty much everywhere. Oh, well, that narrows things down a bit. Come on, Everett. Let's go and see if we can find him down there. All right. Are you coming, Bailey? Yeah, maybe in a bit. Could I ask you something, Mr. Jacobs? Of course. What's up? Well, it's just that this isn't exactly how I planned to spend the day. I was looking forward to, you know, resting on my day off. Instead, we're searching high and low for some toy that Everett obviously doesn't care enough about to not lose. I'm not sure that's exactly true. Sorry, we're looking high and low for a fully articulated action figure that he doesn't care about. What I meant was, I'm sure he cares about this toy a lot. He seems pretty upset and desperate to get it back. Still, if you liked it that much, it wouldn't have gotten lost in the first place. That's not always how it works, Bailey. 
Everyone loses things that they care about from time to time. In those times, we need to help those who are hurting instead of saying who's to blame for the loss. That sounded like a really grown up explanation, Mr. Jacobs, but I think I get what you're trying to say. And it's probably in the Bible too, right? Galatians 6 2. Yeah, I figured. Do you think it'd be alright if I took a break though? I've been helping Everett look for more than half an hour. I'm sure that'd be fine. Want me to start the next program? Yeah, thanks. Before time began, there was the void. It had not form, and the Maker was over the surface of the deep. With his power, he created worlds and gave them his spark of life. That is how our race was born. For a time, all creation lived in harmony, but it was corrupted, and so began the war. A war that ravaged creation, cursing it with death. And just when all hope seemed lost, a star announced the Maker coming to the planet Earth. He took our form. He lived among us. He died. He rose. And he brings life to all, saving them from destruction. The Bible. Read and be transformed. A message from Family Life. Hey, Everett. Any luck? No. I found one of Flynn's bouncy balls. A sock, two nickels, a crayon, and an old newspaper. But no action figure. I'm sure you'll find it. It can't be too far. You just had it three days ago. But what if I don't? What if it got washed down a storm drain or stolen by some kid who saw me put it down somewhere? I mean, anything could have happened to it. Well, I can rule out a few things. Not helpful, Bailey. Hmm, well, it's not in the basement. How are things up here, Bailey? Oh, you know, listening to the radio, nothing too extreme. How about you, Everett? How are you holding up? I'd be doing a lot better if we'd have found it. Believe me, I know how you feel. You do? Wait, you played with military man figures growing up? No, I meant I've lost things that were dear to me. My cat, for instance. You lost a cat? You mean you accidentally left it at a friend's house or something? Maybe it wandered away. Cats do that a lot. No. Actually, he died. Wait, Mr. Ruffles died? When? Oh, no, no, dear. Mr. Ruffles is fine. I was speaking of Mr. Muffles, the cat I had before. Oh, and after my first cat, Mr. Puffles. Puffles? Still, it must have been really hard for you. It was. But life is full of loss just like it is full of finding new things. I think Job from the Bible said it best when he explained that God gives us things and takes them away. And whatever the case, we need to praise him for his goodness. Well, I don't know anything about Job, but he's crazy if he thinks we need to be happy when we lose things. That's way too hard. I think you misunderstand, Everett. He wasn't saying that we need to be happy. Happiness isn't the natural emotion that comes from bad things happening. And of all people, God knows that. But when bad things happen, in our sadness, we can always trust that God will be there with us, and he shares our hurts. And that is a comforting thought. Wait, God can feel sad? I thought he was all wise and stuff. He is, Bailey. But just because someone is emotional doesn't mean they aren't wise or intelligent. Uh, I guess I just don't understand. Well, I might have a drama script that can explain a little better. I'll be right back. But that's not what I meant. You don't want to act out a drama, Everett? Well... Come on, Everett. We can listen to the radio while we wait. And now, from the garage of Lionel Jacobs, comes the biblical drama of Lazarus. A true story about God's power. Long ago in the land of Israel, there was a family. My family. Your family? You had family back in Bible times, Miss Fiona? It's part of the script, Bailey. Oh, right. My name is Miriam, and I have two siblings. My brother Lazarus. Hello there. And my sister Mary. Nice to meet you. We live in a little town called Bethany. Not Bethlehem. That's a totally different little town. Right. We are really close to the capital city. Jerusalem, and... What's the matter, Lazarus? Uh, I don't know. I'm suddenly not feeling... Lazarus! 
It was very frightening. Our brother was very sick, and we couldn't do anything. Send for Jesus. He can... he can... Of course, my brother. You see, our family has a good friend named Jesus. You may have heard of him. He teaches like no one I've ever heard before, and he heals people too. So it only seemed logical to send him a letter telling him that one of his friends was sick. A letter, you say? Hmm. The one I love is sick. Take this message back to my friends. Tell them that this sickness will not end in death. When we got this news, you can imagine our relief. But Lazarus didn't get better. Two days passed, and still no improvement. And no Jesus. <coughs> You'll be fine. Jesus said you wouldn't die from this little... Lazarus? Are you... Lazarus! M Martha! What is it, Mary? Uh, no! No! Jesus said that he'd be... But he's not breathing. <sighs> it was horrible. We didn't know what to do. It seemed that even our good teacher Jesus had been wrong. Our brother was dead. We had a funeral and put him in our family's tomb. Four days later, we got the news that Jesus was on his way. I wasn't going to stand around and wait. I went out to meet him. Hello, Martha. Lord, if only you had been here a little earlier, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Martha, your brother will rise again. I know that, Lord. When the world ends, we all will, in the resurrection. Rezer, huh? It's a fancy word for when God raises everyone from the dead. Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even if they die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. You are the Son of God. Where is Mary? Oh, of course. Mary! He's here! Lord, if only you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died! When Jesus saw Mary crying, and, and me crying, and all of our neighbors and friends crying, his eyes welled up with tears. Where have you put him? This way, Jesus. As we walked to the grave, Jesus cried. Our teacher and friend, the Son of God, was crying for our brother. When we arrived, Jesus pointed to the tomb. Open it up. But, Lord, he's been dead for days. His body will be rotten and... Haven't I told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Do it. Father, thank you for hearing me. I know you always do. But I want everyone here to know that you sent me. Lazarus, my friend, come out! Hey, where am I? Jesus? Well, I'm coming, but I can't see. Can somebody help me? You might want to unwrap him. It's, it's a miracle! He's alive! My brother is alive! Jesus was right. The sickness wouldn't end in death. The moral is, there are many sad things in this world. Things like death, sickness, and hurt happen every day. But as bad as they are, if we trust in God, these things are not the end. The Bible tells us that one day, God will destroy them all, and we will live with Him forever in heaven. Things may be bad here on earth, but when we believe in the hope we have in Jesus, the happiness that comes from God is greater than any sadness. Well, Everett, I've checked the whole house, top to bottom, and I don't think your action figure is here. Everett? Is he okay? I don't know, Lionel. He hasn't moved from that spot for a while now. I'm thinking. Oh, I see. What about? Everything we've been talking about. Losing things, losing people, God being our hope and all that stuff. It's a lot to think about. Yeah, I kind of gave up on trying to figure it all out. What I don't get is the Bible tells us that God's going to take away all of the hurts and pain of the world, right? That's what it says in Revelation 21.4. Aha. Uh -huh. Why doesn't he do that, oh, I don't know, right now? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to figure out. If God is going to stop bad things from happening soon, what's taking him so long? Why do we lose things to begin with? You haven't been thinking that, Everett. I have too, Bailey. You just knew how to say it best. I'll buy that for now. It's a good question, and unfortunately, there are many possible answers. You mean you don't know, Mr. Jacobs? It really depends on the situation, Everett. Everything happens for a reason, but it's not always the same reason. Fiona has a point. 
Sometimes we lose things as a result of our own wrong choices. Verses like 2 Samuel 12, 13 and 1 Corinthians 11, 30 make it very clear that our sin can have terrible consequences. So, I lost my military man because I did something wrong? That's just one reason we lose things, Everett. I could be wrong, but I doubt that's what Mr. Jacobs is saying. Another reason we lose things is it's a way we can grow. What do you mean, Miss Fiona? Hmm. Jesus explained that it's like a seed. If we keep a seed on our shelf or in our pocket, it's not going to do much. But when we let it go and let it be buried, the results are a beautiful plant that gives us more than a dried up seed. That's right. Another example Jesus gave us is it's like a mom about to have a baby. Having a baby hurts a lot. But after all the pain and the crying, the happiness of holding a brand new baby makes it all worth it. So even though I'm not happy about losing my action figure, there might be something good that comes out of it? Exactly. Oh, be right back. So what good can come from losing your action figure? Hmm, well, I got to be in a drama script, and I got to learn about all this stuff. Yeah. Everett, it's for you. Me? Hello? Hey, Everett. I think I accidentally took one of your action figures home with me. Yours had the green uniform, right? Yeah, I'll be right over. That's awesome. Bye. All right, Al. Good news, Everett? Yeah, Kyle found my military man. I gotta go. Bye, Mr. Jacobs. Oh, uh, bye. That was abrupt. He's definitely excited to have his toy back. Action figure. Right. Well, I'd best be off, too. Groceries to buy and all. All right. Are you leaving, too, Bailey? Yeah. I've got a lot to think about, and maybe talk with Mom and Dad about, too. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, Want to turn the radio off on your way out? I'll get it.